Hey guys, this is Blind Master here with a really quick tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to create this cool wallpaper inside a blender, which looks like a bunch it's a bunch of sparks flying from the center of the screen. And you can use this for your phone background or even your desktop. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is switch over to Cycles Render and delete this cube and lamp. And then I'm going to press Shift A to add a plane and scale it up by 5. Then I'll go to Top View and Orthographic View and press Control alt 0 on the numpad so we can snap our camera to view. Now I'll change the resolution from 1080 to 1920 because I want to use this for my phone background. Okay. Now that we did that, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit like this. And what we'll be doing it might not be what you expect. We'll be utilizing some compositing tricks to get our desired effect. So what we want to do is create our material for this plane. And it's going to be a simple emission shader with a noise texture. So let's just open up the node editor. And I'll go into rendered view right now. And I'm going to add a noise texture. Okay. And I'll also add a texture coordinate node and plug in the object data. Then I'll add in a color ramp node right in between. And I'm going to set the scale to 250 so that we can get some really fine particles. And then I'm just going to drag in this black slider so that we get really small white dots like that. And just to make the white dots a little bit stronger, I'll pull in this white uh, slider so that they're more visible like that. And then we'll just render out this image. Okay, so I think that's looking good for what we need. So we'll jump over to the compositor right now. Click Use Nodes and Backdrop. And Control shift left click to bring up the viewer node. We'll just move it down like this. Okay, and a really cool tip for the compositor, if you press V you can shrink the background image and Alt V will also increase it. So, that, so that's just something new I learned and I'm sharing with you. Okay, so to get our desired effect, we'll be utilizing something from the filter panel called Directional Blur. And I'm going to set this zoom factor to point uh, 6. And as you can see, it sort of looks like it's popping out from the center right now, which is what we want. And if we change this iterations value to about 5, you can see that it's creating a streaked effect. And now if we change this distance value, you can see that it's uh, sort of curving, but it's curving from the wrong direction. So to get it to curve from here, we have to change the angle of rotation like that. So I'll change it to 270 so we can get it right up here. And then we want to center it, so just bring it down on the y-axis to 0.25 or even 0.2. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now it's really dark at the moment, so I'm going to add a color mix node, plug in the same one, and switch it to add, just so it's a little brighter. And we'll duplicate this multiply node, or add node, switch it to multiply, and then add a RGB node and plug it into the bottom. So now we can change this to any color we want, but I'm just going to set it as a blue color for right now. Okay, it's still pretty dark, so I'm going to change the factor of the add node to 5. You can see it's making it pretty bright now. Okay, I'll just drag this back. And I'll add another color ramp node, plug in this add node into it. Okay, and what we want to do is create some highlights. So to do that, we'll drag in this black value, not too far, maybe right about there, and then pull in the white so that it becomes really bright, like that. Then we'll duplicate the add node switch the factor back to 1 and add the multiply node like that. Okay, so that's looking good. 
but right now our blue doesn't look the way I want it. So I'll just plug in an RGB curve snowdrag in between, decrease the red values, increase the green slightly, and then increase the blue like that. Okay, so that's looking good. I'll increase this factor more or not. Switch it back to 1. And actually I'm going to go back to our material here. And I want to change the strength to 5. Let's see if that makes it brighter. So it's a little brighter. Let's go see if that changed anything. It looks like it did. So I think that's looking pretty good. Change this blue to that. Okay, highlights are looking good. Maybe they're a little too strong, so I'll pull in the black value like that. And then I want this to be more of a light blue color, so I'm going to pull in the green a little bit more like that. Okay. Yeah, and that's looking more like what I want. I might decrease the red a little more. And I'll duplicate this. And that looks a lot brighter. So I'll decrease the greens here. And decrease the blue a little bit. And yeah, that's looking a lot better. Okay, so now I'll just plug this into the composite node. And if we zoom in, we can see that it's uh, still separated a bit, and it looks like a bunch of different cubes are just following a curve. So to change that, we can just change our iterations value from 5 to 10. Okay, and it takes some time to load. But as you can see, it now looks a lot smoother. So if we go back and render this out, you should see our final image soon. Okay, and that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Please leave a comment, uh, show me what you made with this tutorial. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave them in the comments as well. Thanks for watching.